Hello Mako Madness fans, this is Dan checking in from the Universal Orlando Resort once again. And again we have new developments with Hulk and other rides around the resort. And we're going to head inside right now to check it all out. So let's go! Well it looks like we got a crane in the air over near Hulk. That's a good sign. Now this is pretty awesome. They're lifting track into place. And of course we see right here, a lot has been done just in the last week. A lot more track. To be honest, it looks just about the same as before. Not seeing too many differences when it comes to track. That's awesome though. Well, check this out. Looks like they're actually putting some track on the course layout right now. And it looks like that's going to be for the uh, corkscrew. As we can see, it's about to invert. As we can see over here, just through the trees, there is a lot of green track. The rest of the area hasn't seen too much work. That same support is still there. And of course the launch tunnel, everything, nothing's really changed over there. Most of the work has been in the back second half of the course, behind Storm Force. Well, from behind Storm Force, we can see a much closer view of the track that has now been placed in the last week. And doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? Super bright, super green, super Hulk. Love it. And of course we do have another crane right there. And a support that looks like it's just about ready for track. And as we saw over there, that looks like it's part of the corkscrew that is going in. Looks good. And of course here's some more track that has uh, gone up. Again, the layout doesn't look too much different. One more angle of the crews placing the new corkscrew element. Tightening down bolts, all that jazz, of course. Well, the best news to report this week is a lot of the footers that we saw with those molds on them are now off. And crews are finishing up just the last couple ones, as we can see right here. Putting on the cap for the footers. And again over here, more of those footers are ready. Just a couple that are left. That one right there is uh, all done. Just waiting for track and supports, of course. Area looks really good, though. Well, different from last week, we have a whole bunch of foliage that is now in place and it's starting to look like a jungle. And I know I keep talking about how this is going to look at night, but man, is that going to be awesome with all the trees and everything else like that. The uh, spires with fire and uh, everything else. The outside of the building looks just about the same, but the detail is pretty amazing on it actually. Here's another look at all of the plants and trees that have been placed in the last week and it looks pretty good and for some reason they do have some uh, saran wrap or covering on the uh, rock formations i don't know why but whatever and front entrance of course looks pretty good and the biggest thing to note is over here near the q entry station whatever you want to call it uh, a lot of the fine details are starting to go in on the building we can see guys working right there and big old kong is waiting for guests whole area is looking really nice though.
from our eye in the sky lookout area, we're getting a nice view of all that's happened for Kong. Again, a lot of those trees and plants over there are now covering the queue area, as well as the ride path layout. Not too much over here in the way of uh, work for the main entrance to the ride experience. But again, theming is the big thing that they've been doing this week. Outside of the buildings are getting a lot more of the work. It's looking good. That's gonna do it for our Kong update. We're gonna walk around and see what else we can see update-wise around the park. Well, now it's time to check out Jimmy Fallon's Racer New York ride. And uh, not really too much has changed except for the giant twister sign that used to be right there is gone. But the rest of the gutted out area looks just about the same. Unfortunately, this is gonna be one of those rides where we really can't see what's going on inside, of course. But there is progress. On the other side of the old Twister building, we did see a hole in there in our last update, and it's kind of closed up now. However, over here, there is a lot of demo. So they've moved most of the work, it looks like, to this side, over by Rocket. I wonder what they're doing, though. Probably just more clearing out, I would think. I don't even think the ride's actually gonna start taking shape for another couple months. But that's gonna do it for Jimmy Fallon. Let's go check out Fast and Furious. Well, we're over here at Fast and Furious now, and damn, they took out the entire stage. I mean, that thing is gone. And check over here towards Disaster. They are gutting these buildings. So I don't think they're, uh, they're gonna be kind to them. And Fast and Furious is gonna be a huge attraction, it looks like. It's gonna take up a lot of land. But over here where Beetlejuice Graveyard Review was, it's looking pretty bare. Oh my gosh, there's some huge development here at Fast and Furious. The wall's moved. I know, exciting. It used to be straight across, uh, now it's kind of jetting out a little bit more. Uh, that's about it though. Well guys, that is going to do it for our Universal Orlando Resort update today. Uh, I gotta say, Incredible Hulk looks great. Kong as well, Fast and the Furious, and Jimmy Fallon's new ride. Uh, I would expect construction on Hulk is going to go at a feverish pace for the next week and you know we'll have another update. So if you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube page at Mako Madness and I will see you out on the Midway.